Hey, how you doing? Justin and Toby back for another Katana preset for you. And today we got Green Day's basket case. Uh, and it happened a bit quickly. We just... It took about two seconds. Yeah, we normally <laughs> go, uh, okay, let's just test out what we're going to use and explain first of all so we've got some idea of what's going on. And uh, yeah, I was playing and Toby went, okay, we're done. And it was like, yeah, we're, that's the sound. So what have you, what did you do while I was just trying to oh, remember? Shall we hear a quick blast yeah. of okay, it? Yeah. It's there. So, what, what, what was Chunky. it? Chunky. Yeah. Uh, clean sound, the clean channel. Yep. Seems to be an overriding theme here. Well, clean yeah. channel and distortion pedals yeah. rather than using the crunch ones. Yeah. I found that in previously as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. And distortion. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Put the distortion on. Yeah. It's I think when we much... first listened to it, we said... First thing was like, you yeah. said, this is distortion. I said, yeah, DS1 pedal. You know, that's kind of what's going on. And it is distortion, I, I'm guessing, is the DS1. It's literally the stock sound. sound oh, you drive. didn't have to, you didn't have to didn't, fiddle I it. I didn't even <laughs> fiddle I think I, put a, I think I put a little bit of bottom in. Um, um, and, okay, there's a bit of scoop. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay, so we got an EQ scoop taken out of the mids. Again, okay. yeah. just getting rid of that brittle kind of one clay okay thing. Um, seems, boosting that's... and again boosting the bottom the bottom in the sound is actually in the uh -huh. room it's pretty chunky the bottom end yeah yeah so it's Push pushing it out a lot of a lot of bass um, i imagine if you turn the amp right up it'd be a uh, pretty raucous you know probably a bit too much i find that there's a the bass can be a bit heavy in, in yeah when it gets louder but it's at that you know. level it's doing, doing yeah its yeah job oh absolutely well. and great. i mean there's a little bit of mid out of the eq the and a bit EQ. of treble bit of presence uh-huh Again, we're trying to get that scoopy but, yeah, yeah. distortion sound. So, scoopy, if you don't know what, if you're new to that kind of thing, is the, the mid-range. If you think of it like the, the bottom here, the middle here, and the top there, you're trying to get this sort of boost here and then it dropping down in the middle and back up um, on those Mesa Boogie amplifiers it, that had the, the little um, five things. You'd always drop the middle one right down. You had know. one of those. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, you've got to have one of those at some point yeah. in your life. Uh, but that was, that's kind of a, a really obvious-looking kind of V-shaped... Um, scooping of the mids but we're kind of it looks a lot more subtle than that on the screen it's not like we're pulling it right down no does, I mean does it say how much how much it cut it is? I mean it's like if, if this is representative yeah. yeah representative decibels it's only like 3 dB yeah. so it's not like we're killing not it not huge amount you know? yeah but I mean, it's just enough yeah. to give it that raspy uh, absolutely and I know. think this sound will work for lots of songs in that era this isn't yeah. again that's not for just for that A lot of those sort of riffy... It's the kind of thing, if you double track that, it would be enormous. Yeah, absolutely. You know? I mean, you'd want slightly different sounds over double yeah. track. Uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> well, OK, double tracking. My timing's so bad that it really sounds like <laughs> that, so it doesn't matter if the sound's the same. <laughs> sounds like different guitar amps at yeah. the same time. Um, In a different band. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it helps if you play the same song at the same time. Found Not necessarily, yeah. Pro tip. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So I think that's all we can share with this one. It's a pretty quick video, so I mean, it's, yeah, it's scooping the does what bit. it says on the tin: distortion. Yeah, that's all you need. You that's, know, there's nothing flash about it. No, it it totally works, and uh, amazing that you didn't have to tweak it though at all. It was yeah, just like that's, that's it much, out of the box. Whoever's making those sounds has done it the right way. That's great. Uh, boss. Yeah, I was using just the the humbucker uh, setting on this HSS Strat type thing. Uh, I think that's enough and that's probably the last one we're going to get done today. Uh, I'm not sure when this video will come out but we are taking requests for songs so leave your requests for tunes that you'd like us to make a katana preset for in the comments below. We will be checking them out and the most popular ones uh, will go about making uh, presets for. So uh, I think that's it. So. See you all for another lesson very soon. Don't forget that the downloads are available on the website. There'll be a link in the description. Please subscribe to my channel if you dig what I do. 
and subscribe to Toby's channel. Have you got a YouTube channel? I don't have a YouTube channel. You don't channel. even have a YouTube channel? Yeah. Okay. Well, I, I think I do, but subscribe I think it's Subscribe to your Twitter. Got... What's your Twitter again? My Twitter is Toby Pittman. Toby Pittman. Yeah. At Toby Pittman. Go and find Toby on Twitter. That's me. Uh, I never say anything, but you know. <laughs> exactly. I never tweet. A couple but, of yeah. tweets every yeah. now and again. Yeah. yeah. Uh, have fun with these sounds, and we'll see you for plenty more very soon. Bye bye.